notice how many times I've actually had to stop and check, like almost none. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Hey folks, it's Robert Milton, Hobby Hardwood, Alabama, sawmill coming at you. I wanted to talk to you about quarter sawing. I was sawing at a pretty good pace, my normal production pace, not my I am filming pace. And I recorded some of it and I thought you would be interesting to see how I quarter saw when I am just turning and burning. Actually, I, I watched it back myself and uh, realized that uh, on an entire half log, I only touched the log or the half log once. That was to remove one wedge. The rest were pulled back with the drag back. I staged them all on the, the drag back table and never touched them again until that half log was sawn. I think it took about seven minutes and seven and a half minutes, which is really fast for quarter sawing. I had a hundred percent hit rate. There were zero misses. And that was the last half of the last log and I was done. So I guess the main point is I want you to see is that yes, quarter sawing is a little slower than grade sawing. It's not that slow. And if you use the reverse roll technique and or the jelly roll reverse roll, you'll see I'm burning through these things pretty quick. The log did have one knot in it. Couldn't do a whole lot about that and you'll see that too. Nothing's perfect, but I was sawing to have some high grade quarter sawn red oak stacked up, which I do. Got several pallets of it right here and it will be ready to sell before long. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, by the way, please like and comment. It means a lot to me and the YouTube algorithm. It promotes my videos, puts them out where other people can see them. So I do appreciate that if you hit the like button, subscribe button, and if you want, feel free to comment. And thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoy this one. There's not a whole lot of talking during the video. It's mostly just making sawdust. And there's zero spandex on it, too. So if you're looking for spandex, just go ahead and click on the next video by somebody else because I don't do spandex. I ain't good looking enough. All right, let's get this beast up here. There little wedge off I mean there's a little bit of waste I mean you know two inches I can already see fleck right in that one so that means I'm already in it every board after this will have fleck
This folk take this one up. The next rotation is pretty obvious, isn't it? Thing is, this log seems to be pretty forgiving. And I got a lot of wide here. So pretty much every cut I make. Yeah, this is going good. Just getting into the meat here. I can actually take quite a few off this side. Here I'm getting into the vertical part of the grain now. So every board, even though it's started out good, is gonna be getting better. Be able to get one more. Sometimes I'll hold it on the point. Sometimes I'll hold it on the back. It just kind of depends what seems to work best for me. This one I think I'm going to do better holding it on the back side on the facet. The earlier one I felt better I was going to hold it right on my tip. I need to get one more down if I can help it. That ought to do that. Pull this one back. And I'm still not quite deep into the grain on this one, so I'm going to flip it over. Put that side down. And I'm just going to saw down to the deck on this one. That one will be a little narrow. But you can notice that I'll be getting right into the perpendicular line about halfway down, which is fine. So that one's narrow, but that one will be showing fleck, I guarantee it. This one will be a good board to start to widen up. You can tell from the blue crayon line, it's showing fleck. It will be anyway.
That's a money board. And there's a dog board, last board. That goes pretty quick. Notice how many times I've actually had to stop and check, like almost none. I can pull back the rest of this. Wow. Again, look at this layer. Holy mackerel. one board short. Oh well, and I'm out of logs on this quarter sawn stuff, so just saw that up. Who milled that? Oh, that was a crazy guy from Hobby Hardwood. I don't remember his name, I remember his dog. I hope you see why the reverse roll quarter sawn technique is my favorite technique. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.